Live from the world's capital markets, here are the latest financial headlines brought to you by BYOB Trading Academy. Hello, and welcome to Monday's Daily Financial Review. Here's what's making headlines of the markets today. The Bank of England stepped up efforts last week to beat back the worst inflation since the 1980s by boosting interest rates half a percentage point to the highest level in 15 years. The move surprised investors, who had priced in a 40% chance of a hike of that magnitude. The Moscow Stock Exchange, banks and financial institutions are expected to operate as usual on Monday, Russia's central bank said, despite Moscow's mayor having declared it a non-working day when mercenary leader Yevgeny Prigozhin was leading his Wagner forces towards Moscow. Nigeria is no longer Africa's largest crude oil producer due to disrupting production levels, according to the US Energy Information Administration. In its latest report, EIA said Angola had overtaken Nigeria due to unplanned production outages. The dollar-yen pair traded sideways in the last session. According to the CCI, we are in an overbought market. The Bitcoin dollar pair fell 0.4% in the last session. The stochastic indicator indicates an overbought market. The gold gained 0.4% against the dollar in the last session. The stochastic indicator is giving a negative signal, which matches our overall technical analysis. The oil gained 0.3% against the dollar in the last session. The RSI's negative signal is in line with the overall technical analysis. The US Dallas Fed Manufacturing Business Index will be released at 14.30 GMT. The US three-month bill auction at 15.30 GMT. Germany's IFO business climate at 0800 hours GMT. Germany's IFO current assessment will be released at 0800 hours GMT. Japan's coincident index at 0500 hours GMT. Japan's leading economic index at 0500 hours GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Monday's financial review. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.